Seen at the Saatchi Gallery in London's upmarket Chelsea, Bahrain's ambassador to the UK, His Excellency Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, visiting the Penumbra exhibition by fellow Bahraini Rashid Al Khalifa, the artist. Of course, Bahrainis know well Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa in his government post, but in London, the art is everything. And this event has attracted an enormous general public interest, as well as influential art traders and exhibitors, along with many dignitaries popping in for the pleasure. Sheikh Fawaz has been ambassador for a few years now, and without question has furthered Bahrain's interest in the UK, backed up by more general awareness in this online world. So we took the opportunity to spend a few minutes with him, catching up on the political side. With Brexit and the free trade threats from Donald Trump, Bahrain has to look out for itself. With the British-Bahrain connection ever strong, it appears that Sheikh Fawaz is well and truly at the helm. But luckily, we managed to catch up with him just after Friday prayers, which is a unique gathering at the embassy, which Sheikh Fawaz instigated, and which is an open house for Muslims within the area to attend. Bahrain's London Embassy in Belgrave Square has a large area to cover, with several European countries under its portfolio. So question one to ask Sheikh Fawaz, does he expect any trade fallout between Bahrain and Britain after Brexit? We're optimistic uh, with the post-Brexit uh, deal. Uh, global Britain will look uh, elsewhere uh, to do business, and uh, Bahrain was the first country uh, in the Gulf to uh, propose a free trade agreement with the UK and uh, His Excellency Zayed Zayan have met uh, with Liam Fox both here in London and in Bahrain and they've discussed uh, uh, a post-Brexit uh, free trade agreement and hopefully we'll be the first to sign. Well the relationship with the UK goes back 200 years and uh, it's been um, solid throughout and uh, no matter who's in government I think we'll still have an excellent relationship with the UK and with the UK government. My predecessor told me that politics in the UK is predictable and uh, you get basically uh, an election every four years uh, and that's it. But ever since I've been here, uh, we had uh, a referendum, uh, two elections uh, and uh, interesting times with Brexit. Uh, so no, it's not predictable and it's uh, very interesting. As mentioned earlier, Bahrain's London Embassy does not just look after Bahrain's interests in the UK. London is uh, the centre of the universe. Uh, certainly it's the uh, centre of Europe and uh, from here we cover Ireland, we cover Spain, we cover Holland, Sweden and Norway. So uh, it is a strategic location, it's uh, also uh, halfway across the Atlantic and uh, the embassy in the US depend on us on various uh, uh, communication, uh, uh, whether it's uh, coming from Bahrain, the translation, the... Uh, um, so they check on us before uh, they get into office and uh, we check on them before uh, we go to sleep. So it's uh, uh, been a fruitful uh, sort of uh, working relationship with various embassies, not just in Europe, but even across the Atlantic. And a day in the life of the embassy can be quite intense with so many interests to look after. The government of Bahrain is uh, seeking not just to increase uh, um, tourism from the UK, but increase bilateral trade, uh, increase bilateral relationship. So whether it's uh, on the official level or on the uh, uh, business side or investments, uh, we're quite active and we have uh, uh, an excellent relationship with the EDB. They've got an office here at the embassy and uh, the tourism board uh, have uh, a company here that promotes uh, Bahrain and promotes uh, tourism in Bahrain. So, and we give them all the facility and all the help they need. So uh, hopefully uh, with, with their efforts and the efforts of the team here, we can do something. Well, we usually start our day reviewing the papers, both here and in Bahrain, and uh, look at the headlines and what, uh, if there is any news that coming from Bahrain or any news in the UK that's uh, related to Bahrain or the region. And then we take the necessary steps uh, towards it. Uh, 
whether it's replying uh, or uh, monitoring or uh, reaching out to various media outlets. Uh, this is the first thing we do here at the embassy. Later on, we look at uh, what's happening in Parliament and what's happening in the UK. Um, we start with uh, our uh, daily sort of diplomat meetings with the rest of the team here at the embassy, take necessary action. How things have changed, Bahrain being one of the easiest countries in the world to visit by so many nationalities. Gone are the days when the embassy was a key element in obtaining a visa. Because it's, uh, we don't need to deal with that uh, issue. It's, it's available uh, upon arrival uh, in other countries, it's available uh, online. So uh, it makes it a lot easier. Um, we don't have to deal with that issue anymore. And uh, uh, tourists from the UK are welcomed uh, to Bahrain any time and uh, we have now the new flights of Gulf Air, the new aircraft, uh, the 787 Dreamliner. So uh, we have a good product to compete with British Airways and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, more uh, tourists from the UK t into Bahrain. What's important is, uh, is the product. Uh, we see an increase uh, uh, in uh, number of hotels in Bahrain, an increase in number of tourism facilities in Bahrain and uh, now we have uh, an airline that could compete uh, worldwide so uh, hopefully yes we will see an increase. And the general British opinion of Bahrain and its people? I didn't get that question much in, in the UK. You get that probably in the US or elsewhere in Europe but not here in the UK. I think uh, Bahrain has uh, quite a visible image here in, in, in the UK and we've got a lot of friends here and uh, they've done a good job in spreading the good word. Almost all embassies celebrate their country's national day, and Bahrain's embassy in London doesn't miss the opportunity. We try to do something different every year. Um, last year we held uh, a conference about investments uh, from Bahrain in the UK. So we brought in uh, three or four of the largest uh, companies that invest in the UK uh, from Bahrain. And um, basically they talked about uh, various Bahrain investments uh, here in the UK and uh, in total there are about 20 billion pounds invested uh, uh, from Bahrain in the UK uh, creating 15,000 jobs uh, yes various uh, private and government sector uh, uh, companies and um, whether it's the uh, some fund or various uh, financial institutions in Bahrain the year before, we had an art exhibition and uh, the Duke of York uh, graciously attended and opened the art gallery during the National Day. So, but as well as the reception, we usually have another event on the side of it. But this year, we're looking to do something in uh, working with tourism and uh, maybe uh, showcasing Bahrain during National Day. With Sheikh Fawaz actually visiting Rashid Al Khalifa's Penumbra art exhibition at the Sachi Gallery in Chelsea, it was only fair to ask for his critique. I was proud and, uh, and at the same time amazed on uh, his work and professionalism and dedication because it's, not, it's very hard to come here and impress. And I think uh, what we've heard from the organizers, uh, Sachi Gallery, which is one of the most prestigious here in the UK, uh, wanting to extend is a testimony of the work of Sheikh Rashid and uh, the perception it has here in London. I was expecting the usual uh, oil paintings as well and uh, when I stepped in and uh, saw three-dimensional uh, mashrabiyas uh, in a very modern, colorful way, it just struck me and something that is quite beautiful and uh, interesting and, and not just for me but even uh, the audience that came in and witnessed the exhibition and, uh, I had uh, great reviews. Lord Mayor of Westminster, dignitaries that attended, the, uh, some critics and even some art students uh, that, that attended. So because of the success we are asked Sheikh Rashid to have uh, two exhibitions uh, on behalf of the embassy. So we wanted to invite uh, 
uh, on one occasion, the rest of the diplomatic corps here uh, in London and showcase Bahrain, showcase art in Bahrain, and uh, another event for the Bahrainis uh, studying or living or working here in London to see a, a Bahraini artist exhibiting in London. So we're planning two more events uh, during this exhibition, yes. For who does what.tv at the Bahrain Embassy in London.